G'day and welcome to Food Talk. Anthony Crapper, head chef of Coco's, how are you? Very good, well, thank you, how are you? Hang on, mate, you're not the head chef. Uh, if the head yet. chef watches this, you'll be in trouble. You're the sous chef? Sous chef, yeah. So what, what does that mean? Um, pretty much I'm just here to make sure the executive chef and the head chef job goes a lot easier. Right, so you clean up after them? Pretty much, yeah. Cool. So were they a bit scared about coming down to the Reading kitchen and cooking a restaurant-style meal in this beautiful home kitchen? Uh, so yeah. they sent you? Yeah, I think so, <laughs> I think so. What are you going to cook? Um, today I'm just going to do a uh, lemon and lime and coriander seared tuna with a fresh spinach salad and guacamole. Mm, can I see the tuna? Of course you can. This tuna here has a bit of a story to it, doesn't it? It does, actually. What's the story? Um, my brother actually catches these. Um, they're fresh, come straight from the boat, straight to our restaurant. Straight to you guys? Straight to us. We get first choice on everything. Um, and it's just beautiful tuna. It, it... Mate, it looks, it absolutely, look, look at that. Is that not just a gorgeous piece of tuna? So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to zest up our lemon and lime. The tuna will get coated with this, mm -hmm. and then it'll just sit in the fridge for five, ten minutes, however long it needs to take, and the flavours are just going to go through and just really permeate that flesh. So then we've just got some fresh coriander. Just roughly chopped up. Doesn't have to be too fine or anything like that. Well, it's a marinade. You know, when you cook it, it kind of falls off a bit, doesn't it, when you yeah. slice it? So I think sometimes marinades can be pretty rough because you want to get all those lovely flavours in. If you work it too much, you kind of, you bruise it. You lose and... a lot of the flavour. Yeah. All right, so we've got half a lemon, yep. half of lime juice in there. We're about to put a bit of olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. Good Australian olive oil. That's it. From here, we're just going to season it. Bit of salt, bit of pepper. And that's pretty much the marinade for the tuna. Cool. This is our tuna. A little bit of olive oil. Season it up. And then a little bit of oil into the pan. This is the pan we just got preheated earlier on. Right. Um, not too hot because you don't want to burn it. So why do you put oil in the pan if you put it on the fish? Um, it just creates that, that separation between the fish, just in case it's going to stick. Yep. Nine times out of ten it doesn't, but you don't want to take the chance, mm -hmm. especially with something like this. All right, so you just make sure that's a nice even coating. All right, so from there, just go straight into the pan. And you want that beautiful rawness inside. So you're going to keep it really raw in the middle? Very much okay. so, yep. And you're literally just rolling it. And then what that'll give you, you get that nice cooked ring around the outside. Yep. And it'll keep all that beautiful juices in there as well. So we've got the tuna. This is the marinade we made earlier on. All right, and that just goes over the top. All right, so you're really going to get a good coating all over the tuna. Next. Okay, so now we're going to make the guacamole. So we're just going to dice this up nice and fine. You don't want it too chunky. Yep. All right, from here we've got the avocado. All right, and these are just going to get mixed in the bowl with the onions. So a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, salt, pepper and everything. And then we're just going to mix that up. You want to kind of break that up. Ah, oh, so you're going to squish it with your hands. Yeah, just so you can feel the texture. You don't want to break up too much. Now you know what I'm going to ask you, don't you? Do I lick my fingers? Yes. <laughs> nah. All right, so the final process is just the salad. So the spinach in the bowl. Again, obviously generous with the olive oil. This is just coating, so you're just going to make up a nice quick dressing. So it is a s simple dish, isn't it? It is, very simple. That's great. Love the sweetness from the balsamic. I love the freshness of the fish. Your head chef material. Thank you very much. Mate, it's good. I do enjoy it. Anytime. If, thank you, mate. If you want to try this, head down to Coco's, ask Anthony to make it for you, and you will, won't you? Always. And Always. if you want some more information, jump on the website realestatetv.com.au. Follow the links to Food Talk. Bob's your uncle. Mate, I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad. Thank hey? you. You want some more? Yeah. Have a little piece. <laughs>